I lived in solitary confinement for about four or five years. I never saw anyone, I never talked to anyone, I always stayed inside this boring room and it was so annoying, it was so dirty, dirt was piling up everywhere, and it honestly made me go insane. Now what if I told you that solitary confinement was my own room? You see, I spent so much time inside my room, not talking to anyone, not going out, didn't clean my room at all. It smelled pretty bad too, I'm not even going to lie. So after four or five years of just doing that over and over again, I went kind of crazy. I only loved doing video games, eating junk food, you know, doing those short-term pleasurable things because I was trapped in this box and I couldn't look outside the box. I couldn't think outside the box. And this is exactly how I felt like when I was focusing on myself. I was trapped inside this box and anything that wasn't about me or any relationship or thing or hobby or activity I could do, none of that I would be able to do because it's not about myself. It's about lacrosse, it's about soccer, it's about this girl, it's about this. All of that things were outside the box and it was just such an easy excuse to make to not do anything, not go out my comfort zone. Oh, I'm just focusing on myself. I'm not going to talk to that girl. And you know, the funniest part is that when I was focusing on myself on the grind, made, trying to make money online, I made zero dollars. I made little improvements in my life and even the improvements that I did make, it would have been way easier if I didn't focus on myself. Just so you know how I evolved and developed, I started to make money online. I go outside every single day, I'm playing lacrosse, I'm playing soccer, and I'm just having a great time in my life here. Oh shoot, if you like the vibe I'm in, like this nice stick, consider subscribing because I post videos like these every single day to try to give you something to think about. And I also do coaching to help you quit bad habits and video games and scrolling, all those things that hold you back, hold you in that little box in solitary confinement where you just go insane and you can't do anything else. I do coaching on that, so click that link in the description as well to hop on a quick call so I can talk more about it. Who knew when I was going out and talking to more people, I would actually feel better about my life and as a result, do more things, be able to make more money because I'm more confident. I just find it so crazy how I spent like a year going on monk mode trying to make money and I made zero dollars. And I, my excuse was, oh, I'm too young, I can't make money. So then why am I even on monk mode? What am I doing, bro? I didn't even realize that for so long. Please trust me when I say it, bro. It's not worth going on monk mode, bro. Like, if you haven't made any money, if you're kind of young like me, bro, do some things in life, bro. Have some fun. Get those experiences up. Stop trying to focus on money when you don't really need money. Like, unless you're about to die or something. Everything you can easily get by working some part-time job, which is literally what I'm going to do over the summer. I'm about to be working two part-time jobs, bro. You're going to get those experiences and have fun while doing it. You can ask your mom for money if you can. Save up some money. Do some chores around the house. Get an allowance or something, bro. Like, it's not that complicated. You don't need money. What you do need is experience and self-reflection to see if you're actually trying to focus on yourself, which... Bro, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, like, what does that even mean? Or do you just wanna make some reason why you can't talk to girls or something? And that reason is just an excuse in fancy clothes. So please don't cope and make excuses like I did for so many years and start implementing something right now. I want you to, next time you go to a school, try to talk to a girl, even if it fails, if you don't have the courage to do it, at least think about it. At least don't think, oh no, I can't even do this. I don't need to do this. Be more open to those scenarios. And the more you're going to be open to it, the more likely it's going to happen. And you're eventually just going to be doing it and realize how great it feels to actually bike around, actually talk to girls, actually do cool, fun hobbies in your life. But I also didn't talk to that many people when I was trying to focus on myself. But I made this like-minded club where you can join it too. And hundreds of people are in there. I'm in there too. And it's a pretty sick place. We all want to get better. We all hold each other accountable and we all have a great time in there. If you want me to coach you and hold you accountable every single day, click that Calendly link in the description. I hope to see you in there and in the Like Minded Club. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'm going to hit the wall, play some more lacrosse, and yeah, have some fun. Yeah, I had a game today too and I won, bro. It was pretty fire. But yeah, anyways, I'll see you later. Take care. Peace.